Hello rockers, picture it. You're on stage playing pop influence music. Now, I might not be able to get you there, but I can get you started with a couple easy to follow tips. In Western popular music, there is a chord progression like no other, found in everything from the Beatles' Let It Be to Aqua's Barbie Girl. Now, I expect that you already know how to get your guitar tuned, so let me show you what those four chords are. We're going to be playing in the key of D major because it's the easiest key to play in, but feel free to alter the key as suits the voice of the vocalist that you're working with. So, the first chord that you're going to need is D major. That's played by strumming the four thinnest strings of the guitar. You're going to take your first finger, grab the second fret of the G string, second finger, second fret of the high E, and third finger is third fret of the B, and it should sound like this. The next chord you're going to need is A major. You're going to take your first finger, lay it across the second fret, grabbing the D, G, and B strings, strum those five thinnest strings, and it should sound like this. The next chord that you're going to need is B minor. This one can be a little tricky. Your first finger is going to grab the second fret of the A string, your second finger the third fret of the B string, and your third and fourth fingers are going to go together on the fourth fret on the D and G strings, and it should sound like this. Nice and melancholy. And your last chord is going to be G major. You're going to leave first finger where it is. And your second finger is going to grab the third fret of the bass E. And your fourth or third finger can grab the third fret of the high E. And it'll sound like this. Put it all together and it should sound like this. So, as you can see, it sounds pretty good, but always remember you can experiment. Play around with things, maybe add a little bit of distortion. Maybe you want to play it with power chords to make it sound punk. Maybe you want to change the key to G major. And what would that sound like? It would sound like this. There are basically no limits to how you can make this sound. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on rocking.